Hello everyone. I received a request from some of the community members uh, that they wanted to see how we can have image personalization done dynamically using Nextv. So for this demonstration, I'm going to take in two examples. One would be a video template containing uh, an image, which is going to be a profile icon. And I'll show you how uh, you can pass various images as or profile icons in the messages that you're sending across. So if I have to play this video once again uh, with someone else's name, let's say I want to make this video for Ashutosh. The company name is Nextweave. Then a simple hack right now is that once you have our plugin installed, you can fetch the profile image by choosing any of the campaigns. So if I want the profile picture, I'll just copy this particular image, paste it over here. I'm going to generate the link. The video will contain Ashutosh's image. Now there are enough tools out there uh, in the LinkedIn automation space, which will give you the profile image, uh, the company screenshot, the website screenshot, I mean, the name of the individual, the company name, etc., etc. So you can make use of uh, those variables as well and push them into a campaign template to create multiple links to run that particular campaign. Now, again, the same thing can also be done for images that uh, uh, you're inserting in the email as well as in uh, as the thumbnail of the video. To do that, I'm going to show you a few templates. Yes, yeah, so if you notice, we have this particular template, which is a landing page thumbnail. I'm going to quickly show you this particular template. So in this case, what we've done is that we've kept a default image, which says you. And if I swap it with Ashutosh's profile, I can mention Ashutosh's name over here and the company name as next view. Then the image that appears as the, the thumbnail would appear something like this. And by adding the play icon over here, I can have the same image also inserted into the email body. So to do that, I'm going to show you the two templates that we'll be using. So this one has been designed as the landing page thumbnail and we have this one, which is the email insert to with an image. So if you notice this one, this again has the profile icon, the company and the username as the variables. And it's identical to the earlier template that I'd shown you. Now, if you want to run a campaign which contains the, the profile image of the individual, you will need to, again, go to the campaign section, create a new campaign. I will call it demonstration of of image personalization. I'll select the video template that uh, uh, I had shown you, which was the email to landing page with image. In terms of the image template, it was landing page, sorry, email insert to with image. And in terms of video thumbnail, it was landing page thumbnail with image. We'll have the experience shown again on nextv.com since we've already inserted this piece of code that is mentioned in the instruction set. I will save and proceed. Now I'll proceed to download a CSV template, which is necessary to activate the campaign. It mentions username, let's say Ashutosh. Profile icon is something that we had recently copied. So I'll paste that over here. And company name I'll put in as next week. I'll save this once again. Upload this back to the platform. 
and once it has been uploaded, I can go back to campaigns. Check that the campaign has been added over here. Click on launch to activate this particular campaign. So before I show you how it actually works through the plugin, if you click on download links, As you can notice, there are the two links shown over here. This is the landing page experience. So if I just paste it over here, you'll now notice that the thumbnail that appears on the landing page will contain Ashtosh's image as well. There's Ashtosh's image, his name and the company name. And when you play this video, it again has his image, name and the company name. At the same time, if I have to invoke and see how the image would appear in the email body, then that's how the image will appear in the email body with the play icon so that it nudges the user to play this particular video. Let me quickly demonstrate this, how that happens. So again, I can invoke the next week plugin. So you can see demonstration of image personalization. I'll click on use. It will ask me to Mention details of Ashtosh. Let me fetch the profile image once again. And the company name is next week. I click on generate experience, insert experience. There you have it. There's an image for Ashtosh, name for Ashtosh, company name appearing over here. This will essentially make the whole experience look a lot more personalized because now I'm seeing my image in the email that I'm receiving. And when I click on this, like I mentioned earlier, it will take them to the landing page with the video inserted over there containing the, the profile image of Ashtosh and so on and so forth. In doing so, there's a very strong chance that someone's going to play the video they're going to understand what the proposition is because by introducing uh, personalized images and videos, you'll notice that the completion rates are much better. The play rates are also much better for the videos. So here's an example in terms of how you can use image personalization in your uh, outreach. Go ahead and try it out. And if you're hitting any, any uh, roadblocks or difficulties, you can reach out to us once again. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.